today are going to talk about wildcards. Uh, this will be part two of 10 reasons why I love using the terminal. Uh, so today we'll be talking about wildcards and we'll start with Asterix or Rasta. Uh, Asterix it matches anything, so we'll try and use it. Uh, first let's just try ls command and see what's inside our folder. And we have found this is inside our folder. So we can use ls with an asterisk and you see what it will display everything which is inside of the folder. So if we want to display something that starts with with an F, we can we can do like that and then the asterisk. And when you enter you see it has filtered we have been given this one. Uh, if you want to search files that ends with a with a dot txt you start like this and this is what uh, the wildcard will do uh, it's helpful for, for searching data that is you have a lot of data so you, you can try and use it so when trying to search for specific data with specific file types will be you can use as an asterisk and it will help you do that uh, it's a good tool so even if you want to delete maybe that ends with the txt maybe there are a lot of files that you don't want to go through but you, are, you know them that you, you know that you want to delete them so you'll be doing that and when you enter you see you have deleted everything that start with the txt file so you see the power of the the star the next wildcard that we will be looking at is the question mark character uh, this one matches any single character so uh, say for example let us first list what is the fire files we have found this are inside here so if you want to say list a number a file that start with the one that i've written maybe and you want exactly to be the next to be two characters you can do that and when you press enter you see it has displayed that one if you want to display let's say one Maybe uh, you don't know the last name that we have written, but you want to see what it will say. You see what it will display. Yeah. So for question mark, it matches any single character. Unlike asterisk, asterisk matches any characters. So, yeah. Uh, the next wildcard that we'll be looking at is square brackets. Uh, square bracket matches any character that is a member of the set of a characters. So if you want to list. Uh, files that may have any any of those characters you can do that and you see uh, this file of ours contains b but it doesn't have c but so it it will it will search for that one and display that to us yeah so that's the work of a uh, of a square bracket so and to match any character that's not a member you can you can use a square bracket but inside the square bracket there is an uh, uh, exclamation mark so if you want to display let, let's repeat this code you see to display anything else that doesn't have the characters that have written inside here yeah so this, that is the work of the exclamation mark not it means not yeah. so the next thing that we are going to look at is searching files and we'll be using two commands we have the locate command and find uh, you'll see the power find command so in this section you're going to look at the locate and find command and uh, we'll start with the lo locate command which is an easy command to use and to start with locate finds files by name say you want to look at the wait see I'm confused yeah you see to locate it mm. yeah. and if you want to filter we can use we can pipe our input to another output let's say locate yeah, that is it for the output yeah let's see it's showing here so mm, and sometimes when you try and use the locate command you will not be able to find files uh, that is because of how locate works locates use the uses the update db db 
confusing to update any files so if and it does it uh, maybe on a daily basis not daily not continuously but after 24 hours so if you create a file now you won't be able to find it but you can use this command to try and, and it will update it but you have to be a sudo admin sudo user so that's just basically the locate command what it does wonders you when you pipe it you will get good results so use a pipe and the uh i'm confused yeah this will search for specific patterns like it did here so it's very helpful uh, i'll go to the next command and the find command find is a very powerful command and it find it searches files in a directory hierarchy so if you want to search files in the home directory you can use this i think it's tilde tilde design yeah and it will find files so if you try you see it's searching from home uh, you have a lot of files here let me cancel it so that's how it works but you can we can use it with other arguments to see and how it works uh, let us try and limit something so let us find if you want to find directories we can start by using this in our home directory if we want that and then we use type and then the file type will be directory yeah and if you want to find a regular file it will be f if you want to find special character special file like the c or the character file c block one use b uh, since you want, want to find directories, you can use that one. It will be searching for directories. So if you want to, if you want to find specific file with this, with their sizes, uh, and you remember we were using the delim the wildcards, we use the asterisk one to find specific files. So let's use find in our home directory and the type of file we'll find is a, a no a regular file so yeah and the name of the file you want it to end with uh, the size Uh, let us wait and see so you have said to find uh, in our home directory uh, file type which is a regular file and the name of the file to land with uh, dot movie file and the size will be 100 plus mb is going up so you see it's finding files here and that's how you can use that's just a gist of what you can do with the find command find command is very powerful you can do a lot of things you can also use it to delete some files which we'll to be doing in this video, but you can do it. So that was, uh, that's what uh, locate and find command can do. But for find command, we'll have to expand more because it's wide. Yeah, in our next video, we'll be touching on that and other cool stuff. So thank you. <laughs>